Hey guys, Luke here and welcome back to my NRL 2015 transfers. In this episode, we're going to be going over Frank Paul Nuasala, Frank Paul the Wrecking Ball, moving from the Roosters to the Raiders, and I actually got to admit, it was a bit of a surprising one to see like when it first happened. You kind of suspected that someone from the Roosters was going to have to leave, but I never in my wild dreams would I thought it would have been Nuasala. Now, like in hindsight, it's kind of like, oh, well, it was pretty obvious, but back then, when it first happened, it was unexpected for me, personally, anyways. Uh, I'm sure there was lots of rumours going around, but I just didn't see them. Now, I'm I'm expecting him to be playing prop, most likely. I think, you know, it kind of suits him. They've got Sean Fenton there to play the lock position, and I kind of think Sean Fenton, that's his, the only spot he should be playing is the lock position, get in there, do the dirty work. Um, and I do think Raiders are missing some really quality pops, props. Now, I know they got Shannon Boyd on the bench there, but I don't think he's ready to be a starting prop. And Paul Vaughan's actually quite decent. But I'm not sure if he's actually a prop. I, th oh, I can't really remember. He's a good player, but... Uh, but with losing Lira Lars and stuff, I mean, it's not too much of a loss, but, you know, Dane Tilson, that we they finally got rid of the Deadwood, really, is what I'm saying. And now they're starting to get some quality props and uh, forwards in overall. And I think New Asala, great signing for them. I'm not a big fan of him personally. Like, I find he does lots of, you know, little dog shots and that. But at the same time, you can't, you can't say he's not like a... a bad player, he, he's a great player, um, when it, when he's on form, he's he's nearly unstoppable, so, uh, you know, great great signing for them, and I think he'll fit in quite well with the, the Raiders side, they look to be a side that's just gonna bash and bar, like, just bash sides, rather than be one of those real skillful sides, you know, you get Shillington, Papali, um, I mean, even Kennedy, Soliola as well is another one, They're just gonna bash teams, Boyd, and I think the best thing is, they've actually got you know they they're able to do that, but they they also had big boppers beforehand. It's just the fact that they weren't very agile to others. So now they've sort of you know they've got some props that are sort of up to speed with the current game and not what it was like ten years ago, which I think will benefit them greatly. And I think overall you got to give it to Ricky Stewart and, and you know the Raiders. I think they've recruited quite well last few seasons. So credit to them. I think they're going to have a pretty good season to be totally honest with you. Um, but yeah, overall, I think great signing. Uh, well, it also depends on how much they're paying him, because you kind of think that they might be paying overs for him, just based on the fact that no one was like really wanting to sign with the Raiders. But you know, it, it may be worth it. We'll see in the long run what it's like. But you know, I think it's a great signing. That's where I'm going to leave it. Leave in the comments section. What are your thoughts on New Asala signing? Is it good or bad? Uh, also, leave in the comments. Who are some other players I should do? Um, and also, make sure you leave a like and make sure you can subscribe to my channel. And that's where I'm going to leave this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.